the High Tech Nomad here, and today we're going to talk about the Remote Power Cycle app that you can find in the Google Play Store. And if you look at it real quick, you probably have no idea what it does or why, and you would just keep going right over it. So we're going to do a little bit of homework and talk about what this works with and why you want it and what's cool about it. As the name the High Tech Nomad implies, I do quite a bit of traveling, and while I have a number of programs that allow me to access computers while I'm away, during my first travels, one of the things I quickly ran into is a computer might get locked up, or a device might stop working, and I would have no idea that it had stopped working, or I needed to turn the modem on and off from a remote location. Thus, this device here, which is called the Web Power Switch from Digital Loggers, Inc., and it's now in its seventh incarnation, and they make a number of different things, but we're going to talk about this web power switch. And when I started getting them, they were $100. Now they're up to $130 when you, when you buy them onesies, twosies. Um, and so basically what we have, as you can probably guess from what we're looking at, we have eight switches, eight power switches, and two that are unswitched, and these eight we can control and we'll talk, take a look at that in a second it has a nice little when i first got it they didn't have this now it has a nice little lcd panel so that you can actually see what's going on and it has your some controls for moving back and forth an on switch an off switch and a cycle switch cycle means whatever state it is turn it to the other state and then put it back we are actually logged into the device and i'm inside of the building so i'm using an internal ip however i have map this through my modem so I actually can access this from anywhere in the world as long as I know what my IP address is for my gateway which I, I happen to know obviously and I have my username and password I can get into this so as you can see you can name your sockets here and you have the state the current state of the sockets then you have some actions so I can obviously this one's off, so my action is to turn it on. These are on, so my actions are to turn it off. And then cycle would give me the ability to go off, on, off. Now, not only does it have that, so we have this whole outlet control, but it has, as we saw, it has, you can name things, so you can actually go through and give it the pieces. You can tell it whether it's critical, not critical. Um, you can do some scripting. And the scripting uses very simple language in it, it looks a little funny here, and I'm not going to get into this into too much detail, but it's actually very easy to use. You just basically start changing some of these lines, and then you tell it which line to start running, and then it goes from there. So let's just take a look at this little script that I have here. And this script says, when I first start running this, it turns switch number 8 on. It sleeps for 24 hours, meaning it doesn't do anything for 24 hours. Then it turns off switch 8. It sleeps a minute and then it goes back to one. So obviously what it's going to do is every 24 hours for one minute it will turn off socket number eight. Now as it turns out socket number eight is my modem. Okay, So my cable modem uh, every 24 hours will turn off for one minute so that I'm all set. And I can actually set this for um, you know, when, however I want. It starts, the 24 hours starts from whenever I run this. So I'm all set. And it tells me how many uh, are running. Now, it also has another really neat piece. And that neat piece is auto ping. And auto ping says, keep pinging whatever device it is that you want. And then react based upon losing that ping. A certain amount of time from 10.1.10.1 then power cycle number eight. So that means if my modem gets hung up, I don't actually even have to do anything. The first thing that will happen is that if it gets hung up and it stays hung up for, what do I have here? I have uh, time between pings, one, uh, 60 seconds, and it reboots after five intervals. So basically after five minutes, if my modem does not respond, it will automatically power cycle my modem. And I can't even tell you how many times this has saved me because I, instead of me having to figure out that there's a problem, go down, restart the modem, this is going to do all this for me. And so it's got a very nice, very sophisticated um, piece. Now, so 
how does this tie into our app? Well, Brian Alexa, I hope I'm saying that right. I think I said that already, but I hope I'm saying that right. Brian has come up with an app that allows you to talk to your device. So instead of having to, so you're on your phone, you could do this on your phone, but we all have figured this out. This is going to be really tight and really cramped to see. Well, I don't have to do that because all I have to do is come in here and log in. So here I now I have all my names. I have all of my sockets and I can turn those sockets off and on through here and through my option button I'm going to be able to power cycle those sockets if I need to, to power cycle, which again means turn it off, wait a few seconds, and then turn it on. So let's actually take a look at one of the locations that I've done. So here is, and you can't see it that well, and there's a reason for that, and that's because it's in a basement somewhere. However, let's just take this and bring that over here. So if we look at the sockets, one of the sockets is labeled light. And as you can see, it's actually turned off. So I actually have a webcam pointed at the equipment. And if I need to, I can switch on the light. And actually, you can see it there, hanging on the wall with everything plugged into it. Okay. So let's take a look at the actual app. The app is going to give me the same capability. So I can just go to light. Turn it on, and there it goes. Okay, click it again. Do I want to turn off outlet number six? Is it six? Yeah, it's just double checking with me just to make sure. And turn it off, and turn it back on again. And that wraps up this video on the Remote Power Cycle app and the Web Power Switch. And now you understand why I think this is a pretty cool app. We really appreciate if you click the like button, and we really appreciate if you click the subscribe button, and I'll just keep cranking these out as quick as I possibly can. This is the High Tech Nomad, signing off.